What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? One hand should wash the other, and both should wash the face. This clip right here, man, this, uh, this guy going around interviewing different truck drivers came across this blood right here, Mr. Slim. And he's giving his assessment of the trucking industry today. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. First of all, what is your name, sir? And how long have you been truck driving? I'm Slim. I'm Slim. My name is a pimp named Slickback. How long have you been driving truck? 20 years and two months now. No, that's a pimp named Slickback. That's what I said, Slickback. No, no, it's a pimp named Slickback. Like a tribe called Quest. You say the whole thing. A pimp named Slickback. 20 years and two months. Uh, what is one thing you like about truck driving and what is one thing that you don't like? I like going to new places and leaving old ones. Gotcha. Do you ever find it, um, do you ever have issues trying to find overnight truck parking? Daily. Come back. Wait. <laughs> run, bitch, run. Daily. I drive at night so I don't have to worry about overnight parking. A lot of these truck drivers out here solar powered and they want to drive during the day and sleep all night. So we share that parking space. We just kind of alternate like two roommates that can't stand each other. All right. Um, more and more people are turning to trucks. Truck driving seems to be the catch-all for the word unemployment. More and more people turn to trucks, all walks of life, all ages. Um, NAFTA, we got three countries worth of truck drivers driving in America, even though three countries worth of truck drivers do not drive in Canada and Mexico. All right? Um, more and more trucks keep getting added, but not enough real estate gets added for people to park. A lot of the truck stops have turned to reserve parking spaces only. Um, I feel like if truck drivers can't park here for free, we just won't bring you the food that you don't grow here for free or the building materials that you don't harvest here for free. Um, one hand should wash the other and both should wash the face. Drivers, what's your thoughts, man? I, to be honest, I heard no lies. I heard no lies, bruh. Dude was on point with his assessment of where trucking is at right now. It's a lot to unpack here. You know, it's three separate packs. Like, first, he said, I drive at night, so I don't have to worry about overnight parking. A lot of these truck drivers out here solar powered, and they want to drive during the day and sleep all night. So we share that parking space. We just kind of alternate like two roommates that can't stand each other. Right truck parking is is <laughs> is a huge issue it's a huge issue that's why you guys should download truckers path truckers path the truck app for truckers it'll help you look for truck parking at a major fuel stop or the mom and pops or if you're in one of them small areas maybe a restaurant or a field truckers path make sure you download the app today you know, so with truck parking, I mean, he's right. There's a lot of us drivers that likes to drive during the day. They don't like night driving for whatever reason. But this is trucking. You're going to have to night drive. You're going to get one of those loads that's going to be delivered in the middle of the night, 12 o'clock at night, or whatever the case. You're going to have to sleep through in the day. I understand. Some of it is hard. Your clock is off. You're gonna have to adjust your, your your body clock in order to get your proper sleep in. Some people can't sleep during the day. Some people can't sleep during the night. But you're going to have to drive at night one of these days. And truck parking is a big issue because of course, truck parking at fuel stops are atrocious. By the time you get in there, you can't find nowhere to park. You got trucks parking on top of trucks. Then when you get up in the morning, you got to knock on the door and be like, yo, bro, I got to go. Oh, I can't move my truck because I don't have the time. No, bro, you got to get out the way, man. I got to go. Another thing that's no lie that he said. Um, 
more and more people are turning to trucks. Truck driving seems to be the catch-all for the word unemployment. More and more people turn to trucks, all walks of life, all ages. Um, right, right. And you got all these social media truck drivers that's coming in and just telling you, yo, if you're unemployed, come to trucking. You can, all, you can always have a job. You will always have a job. As long as you have your CDLs, you will always have a job. Which, I mean, it is true as long as you keep your CDL clean. But, you know, again, as I tell you guys to do your research, don't let these social media truckers talk you into something that you might not want to get into. I mean, trucking is not for everybody. I'm just saying. And here's the last point, my man. NAFTA, we got three countries worth of truck drivers driving in America, even though three countries worth of truck drivers do not drive in Canada and Mexico. All right? Um, more and more trucks keep getting added, but not enough real estate gets added for people to park. A lot of the truck stops have turned to reserve parking spaces only. Um, I feel like if truck drivers can't park here for free, we just won't bring you the food that you don't grow here for free or the building materials that you don't harvest here for free. Uh I, I feel him on that. I really do. I, I, I feel him on that. You know, there's a whole assortment of foreigners that's just driving in America. But you don't have a whole assortment of foreigners from America driving in, in countries like Canada, Mexico. You know what I'm saying? You don't see everybody flocking down there to drive for, you know, for carriers down there. But yet you see a whole sets of them flocking up here to America to drive. Majority of them can't speak the language. Majority of them can't read. Majority of them just don't know the rules and regulations. Get into a situation and then bam, they just messing it up for other truck drivers to get into. What do you guys think? Is he, it, it, to me, I don't think he's telling no lies, man. No lies was said in this, in, in this little clip. I agree with Slim. Now hold up, Slickback. No, that's a pimp named Slickback. That's what I said, Slickback. No, no, it's a pimp named Slickback. Like a tribe called Quest. You say the whole thing. A pimp named Slickback. Nova lines. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put them on the list for the call, man. I'm gonna have to see what Nova Lines is about. Oh, before we jump on up out of here, I do have to agree to disagree with you on one part. Um, where it comes to pay for parking, you gotta understand it's their it's their private property and they can charge for whatever they want to do. I mean, I understand, you know, I, I understand some point, but you gotta understand too that. You know, some drivers kind of like messed it up for everybody, you know, with piss bottles, junk in the in the parking lots, you know, shit bowls and all like that. They got to pay their people to go out there and clean that stuff up. I know I'm not going to clean it up for free. I'm just saying. So how do you think they're going to how do you think they're going to recoup their money by charging truck drivers? Big cheese got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me all night? Yeah, take me down.